Yes. It is good. The bottom of our driveway usually is a um, very steep bump and it's annoying. But in the winter, we get a nice little ramp made out of snow and ice. <laughs> We're on our way to pick up the boys from mom and dad's house and um, stop at Aldi to see if my ID, by some miracle, maybe, I don't know, I, I don't think that it could possibly be there, but there would be a slight possibility maybe that it fell in, into the parking lot out of the van because I dropped it in the van. I, I dropped it and it even went away from the door. So I don't, there's no way, but that's like the only possibility, the only other place that it could be. So, so we're in the parking lot and waiting for a parking space so I can, I'm going to play the, play the part of the creepy lady in the parking lot looking under people's cars. My hero. Where was it? Where was it? In the compartment in the middle. What? Where the movies are. Because we had put, remember I told you that the movies are pushed out to so that little, in between our feet, and it was popped up. So, so it, was it was like, like under? It fell and it went in there. Oh and I had closed it, so we didn't check in there. So I'm like, that's the only place it could be now. So oh I pried it open my. and I stuck my hand and there it was laying there. <gasps> Mystery solved. Horatio's my hero. <laughs> it was underneath, in the compartment, between the driver and passenger seat. Like, I don't think I could have put it there if I tried where it was. He had to get a tool to, like, take something apart. Take the cover off. Take the cover off of the compartment Makes console. I'm so relieved. <laughs> Celebratory tea. I am so relieved. I had no idea where it was. I knew that I was losing my mind. Like, I knew it had to be in the van. <laughs> and I also know that I have places I have to drive on Tuesday. And I know that the license branch, I'm pretty sure, is not open on Monday. So... I didn't know what I was going to do. I was like, oh no. <sighs> so the boys, the two older boys right now are playing virtual Dungeons and Dragons um, with a local Presbyterian church. I think it's kind of cool because I'm sure years ago, like when I was a kid, when Dungeons and Dragons first became really popular, um, Presbyterian churches probably wouldn't have uh, accepted playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> but there's a really awesome youth pastor at the Presbyterian church, and he gets the kids together virtually, and they play every Sunday. Um, so they're doing that. I think Gabriel's trying to get in touch with one of his friends. And I may just end it here because I know... All is somewhat right now in, in my world. And I think that we're probably going to do some family. I mean, we'll, we'll definitely do some family devotional time. And we'll also do um, like a game time or movie time later. So until tomorrow.